Refractive error is a very common problem in kids nowadays. On one hand, we are reeling through a COVID pandemic. On the other hand, we are also going through a global epidemic of myopia, which is one of the refractive error common in kids. Understanding the refractive errors in kids is very important because in most of the cases, the kids will not complain whether they have any vision problem. And, and uh, uh, parents as well as teachers play a very important role in identifying these soft signals wherein you can identify whether the kid is having any vision problem. Let us know briefly about uh, various types of uh, refractive errors. There are three uh, types of refractive errors. One is myopia, which is also called as nearsightedness, wherein the child will be having difficulty looking at far objects. The other one is hyperopia, which is also called as farsightedness, wherein the child will have some difficulty looking at near objects. And the third one is astigmatism, wherein the blur vision is because of an abnormal curvature of the front surface of the eyeball. Ad identifying the refractive error in early childhood is important because in kids, the visual system is immature. It has to develop over a period of time. At birth, the child is able to see, the child explores new things, sends signals from the eyeball to the brain that helps in development of the visual connections between the eyeball and the brain. If the child has a significant refractive error in childhood, then the connections between the eyeball and the brain, they fail to form. So it's very important to identify the refractive errors in an early childhood. If you fail to identify refractive errors in early childhood, it can lead to lazy eye and poor development of visual system in kids. And the other problem that we face in identifying refractive error in childhood is they do not complain of any symptoms, as I said. They are accustomed to the blurred world which they have been seeing from birth. So they feel that's how everybody is seeing. So there are certain soft signals the parents or the teachers should be on the lookout, such as tilting of head, poor performance in the school, the child may be going close to the TV while watching TV or the child may be keeping the objects very close to the face while reading or you might even find squinting of eyes or squeezing of eyes or frequent blinking or watering of eyes. These are certain soft signals that you have to look out for. So it is very important to get your child's eyes tested as early as possible whenever you see some of these soft signals. So early identification of refractive error and giving glasses at the right age is very important for the overall development of the visual system in kids.